You remember how we imagined the cities of the future? Those big fictional cities that we had all dreamt of as a child. And guess what? Saudi Arabia has an answer to all our imaginations. It seems like something straight out of our dreams. They're building a floating city and it's called Oxagon. What is Oxagon and more importantly, why is Saudi Arabia building this? We'll dive into all these questions and more, so let's begin. First things first, what's Oxagon? Launched in November of 2021, Oxagon is shaping up to be a blend of futuristic vision and modern technology. It's an octagonal city, yes, you heard that right, a city with eight sides, floating right there in the ocean and connected to the land. The huge project is part of Saudi Arabia's NEOM project, aiming to transform the northeastern part of the country into a hub of innovation and trade. Saudi Arabia's leap into the future doesn't stop at just building a floating city. The kingdom is on a mission to redefine itself on the global stage. With projects like NEOM, of which Oxagon is a vital part, Saudi Arabia is signaling its transition from an oil-dependent economy to a beacon of innovation and sustainability. This vision is ambitious, aiming to create a new blueprint for city living that could inspire the rest of the world. Oxagon and Neom in general are the brainchild of Mohammed bin Salman, Saudi Arabia's crown prince. He's using the country's wealth, including profits from the state-owned oil company Saudi Aramco, to fund this ambitious project. The goal? To create a city that doesn't just dream of the future, but to start building it today. So why go to the lengths of building a city on water? Well, Oxagon is all about looking ahead. Saudi Arabia, rich thanks to its oil, is now investing in the future. They're inviting international companies to come and be a part of this new economy they're building, one that doesn't solely rely on oil. Oxagon, along with other regions like the Line and Trojena, is set to be the industrial powerhouse of the NEOM project. Imagine this, part of the city on land and the other part floating in the sea, with container ships zipping in and out. Oxagon is planned to be a major transshipment hub thanks to its proximity to the Suez Canal, a key route for global trade. This isn't about geography. It's about reimagining how goods are moved around the world. By shortening supply chains and creating a transshipment center, Oxagon aims to make global trade more efficient and less environmentally damaging. One of the coolest things about Oxagon is its commitment to being green. They're talking about creating green hydrogen, desalinating water without harming the environment, and much more. This floating city is all about harmony between humanity and nature, promising to be a model for how we can live sustainably. The commitment to future technologies and sustainability is evident in the partnerships and projects already announced for Oxagon. Green hydrogen production, water purification plants, and renewable energy initiatives are set to make Oxagon a model of eco-friendly industrialization. Moreover, Oxagon isn't just setting up new standards for industrialization and green living, it's also shaping up to be a cultural beacon. With its unique position in the Red Sea near historical trade routes, Oxagon is poised to become a crossroads of cultures, ideas, and innovations. This melting pot of diversity could lead to unprecedented collaborations and breakthroughs in science, technology, and the arts. The city plans to host international conferences, cultural festivals, and tech expos, drawing creative minds from across the globe. This isn't just about building infrastructure, it's about creating a global platform for dialogue and exchange that transcends borders, encouraging a shared vision for a sustainable future. In addition, Oxagon will also have homes, parks, and places for fun. It aims to be a complete city on water, attracting companies focused on future technologies and sustainability. Here, every aspect of city life, from transportation to waste management, is proof that we can move into the future with green innovation. And at its heart, Oxagon is about more than just a city. It's about people. As we said, the vision for the city also includes housing, parks, and leisure activities, aiming to attract a diverse population. By creating a space where people can live, work, and play, Oxagon is set to become a vibrant community, a place where innovation meets everyday life of people. 
And let me tell you, this aspect is crucial. It's not just about creating jobs, but about building a lifestyle that's sustainable and fulfilling. These community centers, public parks, and recreational facilities are part of the bigger plan that is to make sure that life in Oxagon is balanced and rich. But Oxagon's ambitions go beyond just technological and environmental milestones. It's a bold experiment in social engineering, aiming to create a society that values innovation, sustainability, and inclusivity above all. By designing living spaces that encourage community interaction, green spaces that bring people closer to nature, and educational institutions that focus on the future skills, Oxagon is reimagining the fabric of urban society. This approach challenges us to rethink our priorities and values as a global community, pushing us towards a more harmonious and sustainable way of living. Now, of course, building the world's largest floating structure comes with its set of challenges. How will it withstand storms? How will it withstand the marine environment and from saltwater corrosion? What impact will construction have on the marine ecosystem in the Red Sea? These questions are at the forefront of the planning and development process. And while it aims to be sustainable, some folks are asking whether building in the ocean is truly the best way to protect nature. These are big questions that the project will need to address as it moves forward. Addressing these challenges requires innovation and careful planning. The project's leaders are exploring cutting edge materials and construction techniques to ensure Oxagon's durability and safety. Environmental impact assessments and sustainability measures are also critical components of the project, aiming to protect and preserve the Red Sea's biodiversity. Building a city like Oxagon is no small feat. It's about imagining the cities of our future and taking bold steps to make them a reality. But what makes a city truly great? Is it the cutting edge technology, the commitment to sustainability, or the way it brings people together? Maybe it's all of the above. Oxagon represents a bold step into the future, not just for Saudi Arabia, but for urban development worldwide. If successful, it could serve as a model for sustainable industrialization, showing how cities can thrive in harmony with nature. The project also raises important questions about the future of city living, the balance between development and environmental conservation, and the role of technology in shaping our societies. As Oxagon moves from vision to reality, the world is watching. This floating city has the potential to change perceptions, inspire innovation, and lead the way in sustainable urban development. It's a reminder of the power of visionary thinking and the possibilities that lie ahead when we dare to dream big. This vision of Oxagon as a hub for cultural and technological exchange is crucial in understanding its broader implications. It's not just about constructing a new city, it's about inspiring a new way of thinking about our collective future. As we witness Oxagon's journey from concept to reality, it serves as a reminder of the power of human creativity and ambition. It challenges us to consider what kind of world we want to live in and how our urban environments can reflect our highest aspirations for society. We love exploring new ideas and visions for the future, just like Oxagon, and we're curious to hear your thoughts. What do you think about building cities on water? Is this the future of urban living, or are there lessons we should take from the cities we already have? Thanks for diving into the story of Oxagon with us. As always, if you liked our video today, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing stories from around the globe. Keep imagining the possibilities and exploring the wonders of our world. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.